Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Nicole Sparks and I'm an OBGYN. Today I'm here with In The Know and we are going to be talking about the birth control pill or the oral contraceptive pill. This is a standard pack of pills and birth control pills are an example of a hormonal birth control pill. They do contain estrogen and progesterone. And this is usually what we'll start our patients on if they're okay with taking a pill every day. You either have hormonal or non-hormonal contraception. Hormonal contraception includes things such as the pill, the patch, the ring. So the way this works is it usually will suppress some of the hormones that help ovulation. So of course, if you stop ovulation, then that will keep you from getting pregnant. And this is how most of the combined contraception works. So you'll notice on a standard pack of pills, it will have a Sunday start date, but you don't have to start on Sunday. You can start on any day that you choose. And most pills will have what we call a 21-7, meaning you have 21 days of an active pill and seven days of an inactive pill, or they'll be more like 24 and four, kind of like this one, where you'll just have four days of an inactive pill. And during the inactive pill days is when you'll have a cycle, and then you'll start the next pack of pills immediately after. And don't worry, because if you do miss one pill, you can go ahead and take two the next day and kind of get caught up. If you miss more than two, then we suggest that you talk to your doctor about what you should do next. And as far as how effective the birth control pill is, it really depends on the user. So with typical use, it kind of has a 7% failure rate, and that's pretty high, and that's because people will forget to take their birth control pill every day. If you're really good at taking it, then you know it really has a failure rate of closer to one to 2%. So you really wanna make sure that you take your pill every day because of course, the more you take it, the more effective that it is. So pills are pretty easy to obtain. You can either get a prescription from your physician, or even now we have lots of companies like Bedsider and Simple Health who will actually let you talk to a physician over a televisit and they can mail the pills directly to your house, or you can go to the store and get them at any pharmacy. And the cost of the pill usually depends on your insurance. Some are as cheap as $4, $5, $6, and some can be a little bit more expensive. So some of the common side effects with birth control pills, especially when you're first starting, include some things like nausea, vomiting, breast tenderness, headaches, and sometimes you might have some irregular or unscheduled spotting when you first start it. The good news is, is that after about three months, once your body gets used to this new pill, a lot of those symptoms will resolve. So we have many different types of birth control pills. So don't worry because if you can't find one that you like, we can usually find one that will suit you. There are also other types of birth control like the female condom, spermicide, and the diaphragm. Now remember, all of the information provided here is for your medical purposes and information only. If you have specific symptoms or complaints, make sure that you actually talk to your physician so they can figure out the form of contraception is right for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I am an OBGYN by day, but by night I'm actually a blogger and I do a lot of these videos and I really love to educate. So if you wanna find more information about some of the things that we've talked about today, you can follow me on any platform, including Instagram or TikTok. And my username is Nicole Alicia MD. Again, thanks for watching today. I hope you guys learned something.